Welcome to the Northwest Weekly Agri Updates. I'm Sally Balmain, Livestock Officer with the Northwest Local Land Services Ag Advisory Team. Um, coming to you this week from the shelter of a hay shed because um, it seems every Tuesday the weather is atrocious at the minute. Um, this week I just wanted to touch base uh, and talk about bloat. So I'm to get a lot of um, inquiry and I suppose concern um, about bloat for this spring. Uh, there seems to be a huge amount of clover uh, in the pasture paddocks um, and also the lucerne's really on fire at the minute. And whilst that's awesome um, and I guess sign of a cracking spring, it can be really scary from a bloat perspective, uh, especially given the value of cattle at the minute. Um, bloat's a hard one because there's no magic bullet to controlling bloat, unfortunately. Um, we saw bloat capsules go off the market um, a few years ago uh, and they've yet to return. So Romensen does have a label claim for bloat, uh, but you know, in a loose lick form, it really is difficult to get enough into them, but it can it can help. So a loose leak that contains remensin certainly won't do any harm, but might um, they mightn't be able to eat enough of it to get the full dose to to claim bloat control. Um, the other thing we can do if we have the luxury of other feeds to graze for the meantime is just hold off putting stock on pastures until the clover and the loosens in flower. It does tend to get a lot less risky once it has flowered. Uh, so if you are in that situation, it might be worth, worth holding off grazing for a little while. Um, if you're not, uh, introducing stock gradually. Uh, so just allowing stock access to the risky paddock for sort of an hour mightn't even be an hour so please don't set and forget put stock on there and really keep an eye on them for those first few days and see how they're going um and then also make sure the stock aren't hungry when they go on so even stock that have been successfully grazing a high legume content paddock a few hours in the yards to do whatever and then a return to the paddock can be detrimental so please let them fill up on on safe feeds first um, the other thing too is our pastures can get a bit less risky uh, as the day progresses. So um, instead of turning stock first thing in the morning, give the plants an hour or two to photosensitize and things like that. And, um, and that can help. If you are in a position where you've only got water troughs in your paddock, medicating them with a bloat oil can be handy. Unfortunately for a lot of people though, given the amount of rain we've seen, there's so much surface water about that might not be an option. Um, but certainly um, products that contain bloat oil can help. There's some licks and some blocks on the market that, that do contain that product and it might be of assistance. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is sometimes bloat and pulp a kidney can uh, look the same in the end result which unfortunately is an animal legs up in the air and quite inflated um, so five in one is not a particularly expensive um, product to give uh, so it might be worth giving um, stock a shot of that uh, if they haven't had one uh, in the last sort of six to eight weeks um, and you are in a high risk area a shot might might help um, and then a shot every six to eight weeks after that just for the pulpy kidney aspect. Um, the clostridial vaccines are, are really good at everything else um, but the nature of pulpy kidney means that um, even if it's uh, within the annual booster, um, they, they still might need a shot or, or look at the product that's got the longer, the longer pulpy kidney claim on it. Um, as always, the district vets uh, are on hand to answer any queries that you have or feel free to contact the ag team. Um, we wish you luck uh, and we hope everybody's staying well and safe at the moment and we hope we get to see you all around the trap soon. Cheers.